All right, I'm going to try to <clears throat> catch this pump where it won't start at all. Um, after talking to several people, it turns out the two to three second pause thing is, is normal. Um, but my main issue is when I, when I power the machine totally down and try to turn it right back on, sometimes my pump doesn't start right away. Actually, it's pretty much every time. I power it down, all the way down, not reset, but power all the way down, and turn it right back on, the pump won't start, I'm going to try to get it to do it, right here, um, it's mainly a problem when I'm overclocking, because in the event that I blue screen, which is not that uncommon, when you're toying around with things and trying to get things set right, I'll try to turn it right back on and the pump won't start, so see it shuts off. I'll pause for a couple seconds and kick it back on. And no pump. Still no pump. And yeah, it's pretty much that, that repeatable. It's pretty easy to make it do it. Um, no pump. You see I've disconnected the speed wire so it's just full power right now and it still is not going. And it'll go all the way until it's going to throw the CPU fan error like that because I don't have the speed wire plugged in but still the pump's not running. So I just have to do that. Um, I don't have it overclocked right now so it's not heating the CPU up too much but if I have it turned up to 4.8 or 5 gigahertz it uh just that little amount of time will be enough to make this get warm right here and that kind of scares me because I don't really want to know how warm the CPU is getting um, so I'm gonna go ahead and bust the loop open right here I think I've kind of eliminated speed as being the issue because it acts identical whether that speed wire is plugged in or not um, I'm gonna go ahead and break the loop right now and move this put the pump down on the floor to see if these fittings here might be causing just a little too much restriction to get the pump primed. Um, but if that doesn't work and the full power without speed control on startup doesn't work, then I'm going to have to RMA the pump because I just can't, can't afford to have it not start. And I can't guarantee that I'm always going to be paying attention and catch it if it doesn't. So that's where we're at.